Denmark's decision to acquire the Norwegian-made NASAM's air defense system in a 500 million euro agreement marks a significant step in the country's long-term military modernization strategy and aligns closely with broader trends in European security policy. The deal, announced by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, is not simply a routine procurement but a reflection of the transforming air threat landscape, where drones, cruise missiles, and long-range precision weapons increasingly shape national defense planning. For Denmark, a nation with critical infrastructure, key NATO responsibilities, and growing integration with its Nordic partners, NASAMS provides not only a technological upgrade but also a strategic multiplier in the collective defense of Northern Europe. The timing of the purchase is notable. Over the past several years, European nations have accelerated their efforts to strengthen short- and medium-range air defense capabilities. Russia's continued reliance on long-range missile strikes and extensive use of UAVs in Ukraine has highlighted vulnerabilities in European air defense layers, prompting governments to reassess their current systems. Denmark's move to join the community of NASAM's operators, already numbering 14 countries, including eight NATO members, signals its intention to keep pace with both the threat developments and the alliance's shift toward integrated, multi-layered air defense concepts. As part of the Nordic defense environment, Denmark positions itself within a growing regional network where Norway and Finland already field NASAMs, and Sweden is pursuing parallel radar and missile integration programs. This creates conditions for joint training, shared logistics, and eventually harmonized command and control procedures across the Scandinavian region. NASAMS itself is a mature, modular, and combat-proven system that has demonstrated real-world effectiveness, particularly in Ukraine. Its ability to intercept Russian cruise missiles and UAVs in high-pressure operational conditions has strengthened its reputation as one of the most reliable medium-range solutions available to NATO militaries. Denmark's acquisition package includes not only the core AIM-120 AMRAAM interceptors but also the extended-range AMRAAM AR and the short-range AIM-9X. This combination gives Danish forces the flexibility to counter threats across different altitude and distance bands. The AMRAAM AR, with an engagement range exceeding 40 km, provides coverage against standoff cruise missile attacks, while the AIM-9X supports rapid response engagements against fast, low-flying or maneuvering targets. In a modern battle space, where saturation attacks and multivector threats are becoming more common, this layered interceptor mix is crucial. Another major advantage of NASAMS is its distributed, networked architecture. Unlike older, centralized air defense batteries, NASAMS can disperse launchers, radar units, and fire control centers across a wide area while maintaining a unified operational picture. This enhances survivability against enemy electronic warfare, drone swarms, and missile strikes aimed at disabling centralized systems. It also allows Denmark to tailor its defensive posture depending on mission requirements, from protecting specific high-value sites to covering broader sectors of national airspace. As part of NATO's Integrated Air and Missile Defense IAMD, network, Denmark's NASAMS units will feed data into a shared sensor fusion environment, enabling quicker detection, tracking, and engagement of hostile targets across borders. In practical terms, this means Danish operators may receive target data from Norwegian or British radars, while their own radars contribute to the wider NATO air defense picture. The acquisition further supports Denmark's transition toward a fully layered national defense structure. With F-35A fighters forming the upper tier of air interception and NASAMs covering the medium-range domain, the country is moving toward a model in which air and missile threats can be countered at multiple engagement points. This is especially important for protecting key strategic assets such as air bases, ports, energy infrastructure, and military command facilities, all essential elements in the event of a crisis in the Baltic Sea region. The geopolitics of the area have changed dramatically after Sweden and Finland joined NATO, transforming the Baltic Sea into a strategic NATO lake, but also putting new emphasis on coordinated defense planning and protection of maritime approaches. The industrial and political dimensions of the deal should not be overlooked. For Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, 
the 500 million euros contract represents another milestone that reinforces its leadership in NATO's air defense market. The agreement also signals confidence in the broader transatlantic partnership, as NASAMS is jointly developed with the U.S. defense giant Raytheon. This cooperation ensures sustained support, upgrades, and future-proofing options for Denmark, including potential integration with new sensors capable of detecting low-observable aircraft or even emerging hypersonic threats. Denmark's investment supports not only domestic security but also NATO's continuing push for defense standardization, making joint operations smoother and reducing logistical complexity in multinational missions. Delivery timelines indicate that Denmark expects initial components in 2026 and full operational capability by 2028. This multi-year integration period reflects the complexity of establishing new air defense networks, training crews, building secure infrastructure, and integrating national command systems with NATO frameworks. It also demonstrates Denmark's long-term planning approach, rather than rushing to field a temporary solution, Copenhagen is investing in a strategically scalable system that can evolve alongside future threats. Given the system's open architecture, Denmark will be able to integrate new missiles, radars, and even unmanned systems as technology progresses. In the broader European context, Denmark's NASAM's procurement reinforces ongoing efforts to build resilience against an evolving air threat environment. As drone technology becomes cheaper and more widely used, and as precision-guided missiles proliferate, the need for agile, networked, and scalable air defense grows exponentially. NASAMS fits this requirement well, offering a flexible platform that has already proved adaptable to multiple battlefield roles. For Denmark, the acquisition enhances national sovereignty, strengthens alliance commitments, and positions the country as an active contributor to regional collective defense. Ultimately, Denmark's decision underscores a key trend shaping modern defense strategy. Air defense is no longer a niche capability but a central pillar of national and regional security architecture. With NASAMS, Denmark is not only upgrading equipment, it is reinforcing its strategic posture in Northern Europe, contributing to NATO deterrence, and preparing for the challenges of tomorrow's air and missile threat environment.